Okay, well welcome back. Uh, here we are with the 102 again, and she's under power. So right now I've got the motor set up on the stand that I created to put it at the correct height. Used an old grinder base and a couple of aluminum riser blocks on a really large hinge. So I've got the best part of 56 pounds of motor creating all the tension I need for that belt. A little bit of flop in it, but it's quiet and it seems to be grabbing good. So here it is all together. Um, this has new bearings in it, courtesy of yours truly, who was an idiot and wound up damaging a bearing during the installation of the first try for a belt. Uh, I got very lucky and managed to get a very affordable set of bearings for the, the front of the spindle and the rear of the spindle. And so I didn't wind up getting kicked in the butt for that. It could have been well over a thousand dollars if I had to source them through conventional channels. And it looks like I got very lucky in regards to alignment. Uh, the belt's tracking in the center of the pulley and also respectively on the aft pulley. I had to make one small adjustment for the angle on the motor. I mean about a 16th of an inch and just corrected it and she's running nice and true now this is on the center belt so that would be approximately a one for one uh, for speed and so for courtesy of my antiquated cheap tachometer let's see what we got if I can line this up Seventeen hundred and thirty-seven ish RPM. That may look a little strange because my hand was vibrating. It wasn't exactly centered. So after quite a while, I have this thing back in service, uh, or in service for me. I bought it not running, and it was probably just as well that those bearings got changed out because they were in. They had never been lubricated for at least a decade. So they were bone dry and had almost like a black soot on them. They didn't seem completely horrible, but they weren't perfect. So I got a nice set of correct high precision bearings. Um, so the first, the, in fact, the set here in the front were new old stock that I'm probably thinking are almost as old as the lathe itself. Uh, somewhere around here I've got the boxes. And I don't know where it is right now. So, I got lucky though, the rear set, um, the particular bearing number, I found in a package of three designed to service a Mori Seiki uh, spindle unit. And so they were the correct high precision or super precision bearings just for a different application and they were matched. So I only needed two out of the three. So if anybody's looking for a single 72 oil, the 7208 high precision bearing give me a give me a call um, now since this is now the second attempt at a video because I was not that good at this and lost the video temperature wise still cool to the touch uh, actual runtime now is probably upwards of over 20 minutes and that's at this speed and even feeling inside the spindle there's no heat being generated on this end. And same thing on the back, which I'm not going to do because it's got tape in it from the uh, tachometer. But it's running good. And time to start making some tips with this one. It's a really neat little setup. I've got a, quite a few accessories. It has the, uh, I think they call this the window glass or something for the tailstock. I've got a uh, carriage over here sorry for the mess guys but that's the 150 millimeter uh, cross slide so the long cross slide and I've got collets three jaw four jaw and even this crazy magnetic chuck which is filthy right now I didn't even know they had such a thing as magnetic chucks for uh, lathes but I have one so there's my horrible attempt at a video. Hope you enjoyed it, and take care. Have a good day. Bye.